What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage, another totally two minute, two minute tool time Tuesday. Actually, this is probably gonna be a longer than two minute tool time Tuesday, but we got some of the best tools out there right now. These things just came out, or they're coming out, I can't remember. Uh, Milwaukee sent these ones over to me, 2569-21. So that means we got a battery in this bad boy and we got a single M12 charger. 3H drive, extended reach ratchet, 35 pound feet, max torque, and we got the half inch version right here as well, the 2568-20. That means there is no battery, no charger, uh, and that sort of thing. Plus, we got that little like condom for the head or whatever just to keep our tip nice and clean, which is very good. We'll bust into these in a second here, but what I wanna show you is my go-to in my toolbox currently. So I have all of the first gen. These are the second generation ratcheting wrenches, and you guys will see those in a second. But as you can see, this guy right here, this is uh, not that clean anymore, um, which means I've used it a ton and I absolutely love it. Now, let me show you the difference here between these two guys. So you'll notice this is the non-extended reach, right? And to me, it looks quite a bit cleaner and that's because literally I use the extended reach for absolutely everything. Plus, I have the older quarter, quarter inch drive. Now these ones are a little bit slower and it's got that little protective tip on it, which is nice. Plus I have the um, stubby version. This is the stubby version of the second gen as well. So it looks like I got quite a few of these and you know what? I actually do enjoy the quicker speed, um, but I also enjoy the extra length. So that's what she said, I guess, right? <laughs> I find myself not using this one that much just due to the fact that I like that extended reach. It always just gets me into those tight places if I need it and I get that little bit of extra torque. Now, what a lot of people do not realize with these particular ratcheting wrenches is they're not impact wrenches. People think that these things are just gonna blast off everything. It's not an impact ratchet. I got one of those right here. This is the Milwaukee Impact Ratchet. I'll, I'll leave a link down to all this stuff below, but this is the um, 2564-20. I don't use this that much. This one, honestly, this is a 3H drive, which I do enjoy the 3H drive. I find myself using 3H drive more and more and more. Um, I'm also quarter inch drive just because of the fact that like, it's small, right? So that's really nice, but this thing, I've used it quite a bit of times. It usually doesn't have the torque and I just gotta bust out like a super long extension and a breaker bar and get it loose. But a couple times, this has helped me. I also have the first gen non-stubby here. So this was the 2557-20 right here. So this was the original ratcheting wrench in the fuel one, um, which means it has a brushless motor and they're way better. And then you can see that they minimize the size of the head and also it got a little bit faster, which was really good. I just wanted to share that experience before we busted in to what I end up using the most, and that is the long guy. So let's get into these new boxes here. Sorry for the ramble, but I know everybody wants that information and they're always asking me. For the 2569-21, again, one battery. When it has a one at the end of the code, that's how you know that it's only gonna have one battery. If it's a 22, that is how you're gonna know if you get two batteries. And I do this a lot where um, I talk about when I have extra chargers and I tell people to hit me up on Instagram, which this is gonna be one of those. However, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. Um, I have subscribers on my Instagram, so I think it's like three bucks. And if you're a subscriber, there's literally six people, okay? If you're a subscriber, I'm gonna end up giving away the extra stuff that I don't end up needing or wanting. I'll do that every month. So, if you guys get on there, it's been like the same six people for the last three months. So, um, they've already won quite a bit of stuff. I think I've already done like three or four giveaways. And yeah, you could, uh, you could get this. So, literally, I'm not even covering my shipping yet on this stuff, guys. But uh, yeah, I will, I will give this away to you if you uh, subscribe on my Instagram. So pretty cool. I basically call it like buy me a beer and then you know, you might get some cool stuff. So this one has the M12 CP 2.0. Also guys, if we get enough, I'll give away like legit tools, but 
obviously I can't be losing money every single month. That just doesn't work out. So there is a lock on here, which is pretty cool. I only use this in transport. Um, I've had it a couple times where I'm transporting my tools and you start hearing this thing ripping in the back of the car. So uh, we'll pop that battery in. As far as the charge goes, two bars. But this is nice and thin. Let's, let's look at the difference here. Ooh, yeah, dude, this is pretty sick. So this is what we had before, right? We had this big guy and then we could see this one. Quite a bit faster and it's very thin. Now, you will notice if you're, if you're looking at this part of the handle, it is slightly shorter there, but they've kind of just condensed down the mechanism. But if you put them side by side from the bottom, uh, they are basically the overall same length. It actually does look like this one kind of beats it out by maybe like a quarter inch up here at the top for extended reach, right? Which is great. Now, I find myself, like I said, using the 3 8 inch drive the most. However, we're getting in there. We're getting in there tight. We're getting into small places. I also find myself using the quarter inch drive. You can see, like I said, it's pretty dang clean, but when you need to get into those tight spots, that's when you're going to want that quarter because you can get an even smaller, you know, socket on something like comparing this 15 mil right here to this 15 mil right here. Just kind of giving you guys some examples on why you might want a quarter inch drive. You can see the 15 mil over here in the three eighths is a little bit bigger, right? Overall size, it's a little deeper. So sometimes you need to get into those spots that are really tight. And uh, when you have that thicker um, head on there, it's, it's a little bit hard to do, you know? So man, all sorts of end of windows today, huh? All right, now for this one, this is the M12 Fuel. This is the three quarters. So this one does 35 pound feet of uh, max torque as well. So what that means is when you have it down there in, in your spot, you're gonna have 35 feet of breaking loose force for a nut or a bolt or whatever. Now, you can still use these as a normal ratchet, right? So I think a lot of people don't really realize that, but if you have problems, you get down in there, you break it loose, and then see, you can use this as a normal ratchet and then use the rest of the power to power through and bust that off. Now let's go ahead and throw one more battery on here. CP 4.0, so these are the new ones. Um, they run 2.5 times longer than a 1.5, CP 1.5, which is your smaller battery. Now I really like these on the tools that kind of like stand upright. Um, so maybe like an impact driver or a drill or something along those lines, this type of battery is great not only for the extra juice, but for the ergonomics of the actual battery pack itself. That's what I mean by the ergonomics on it. But also what I'm kind of saying is that for the most part, which I absolutely love this. If you guys don't, if you're looking for an impact wrench, get this one. This is the half inch stubby. I'd go for the three eight stubby if I were you, just because um, I end up using that more often. But you can see both those tools stand up with that battery, which is great. And you can see, well used, nice and greasy. I'm sure I could clean my tools and everyone can complain about, oh my God, why do you not keep your tools clean? Well, it's because I use them, dude. And I just don't have enough time to clean my tools every time I use them and edit video and do all that stuff. It's a lot of work. A little difficult, I slipped that over until I got the head on and now it's good to go. And you can put the forward and reverse modes pretty dang easily. I'll go ahead and charge up these batteries, but yeah, that just looks good, man. That looks freaking awesome. So yeah, you could put them all in a Milwaukee drawer as well. Um, I actually have a little bit of padding in here, some Kaizen foam, but I might cut these out. So if you guys are wondering what I got going on, I'm, I'm wanting to make a mobile uh, kind of kit for my car or for my truck or whatever. Oh, ho, ho. That was nice and fast. Love it. Yeah, just make sure you get a charged battery.
Okay. I definitely met a match with some torque right here. So you still can use this as a ratchet. Okay. Right at about its level. So this is a 19 millimeter bolt, which I mean isn't surprising, honestly. So again, I'm gonna go through this uh, and just show you the least useful to most useful. Uh, least useful that I have used basically the least is what I'm saying. This one and this one. This is the impact uh, driver and this is the uh, quarter inch ratchet, stubby. Uh, the quarter inch ratchet, uh, just regular. The 3 8 ratchet that's just regular, I've used it a little bit, but honestly, once I got that extended reach, I've just gone with the extended reach. And this is a 2.0. This is the faster one than the original. This is the original right here. You can see pretty slow as far as RPM. This one quite a bit faster. Um, but I have a feeling that what's gonna replace pretty much everything now is gonna be this 3 8 inch extended reach with that small head with the extra speed and that quarter inch right there for the really tight stuff, uh, for the really detailed, small little areas that I need to get into. So I can just really see that stuff being my go-to. So if you guys are gonna invest in some tools, what you might find is that now, a lot of these are going to be cheaper because if you get the first generation fuel, um, that's like, I think that's basically three generations old or, or three, I, I guess it's two, because we got the 1.0, the two, I'm gonna call this kind of the third gen uh, because I feel that the extended reach one pretty much works in all situations. And the reason why is, well, because it's powered, right? We got this little guy, but now we got that extra juice on it so we can get into tight places with that extra reach, just like if we had a ratchet, you know, that was like a little bit longer, like this, and even longer than that, that might be like a half inch ratchet that we got a little bit of torque on, you know, something close to a breaker bar but not quite. You still always have those little times where you could use that little teeny quarter inch drive and just get in there and just get those little, little clicks. But once you get it busted loose, oh my gosh. But once you get it busted loose, what you're gonna find out is that most of the time, if you can get this in there and you can get your hand in there, you could get this in there and bust it the rest of the way off, which is just awesome. So that is what I'm talking about right there.